Welcome back to my latest video. Today I want to talk about being a DNR versus being a full code and what that means and kind of the differentiating things between the two. I am going to be straight up. This is what I've experienced in the United States. I know a lot of people live elsewhere and so I'm sure there are differentiating things between the two um, and maybe they're different other places. So this is just what I've learned in the United States. But basically, where I'm in the ACU and when someone's a full code, that means they're a full code. You're going to do everything as long as it's within like their religious beliefs. So for example, Jehovah's Witnesses typically do not receive blood transfusions and things like that. So full code, treat everything and basically what the actual full code stands for is if your heart stops we are going to do chest compressions we are going to shock you if needed we are going to give you life-saving medications we're going to intubate you all of those fun things so so the actual meaning of full code is you are going to literally code someone if their heart stops they stop breathing you are going to do those things artificially for them to try and get them back if someone is a DNR, that stands for do not resuscitate, that means that you are not going to do those things if, if their heart stops or they stop breathing, things like that. But every patient is a little different, so this is kind of where the gray area is. DNR does not mean do not treat. So if someone comes in the hospital and they're a DNR and they're bleeding out, but they still have a heartbeat and, a, and they're still breathing, you're going to give them massive transfusions or whatever you're gonna do to try and prevent their heart from stopping or from things getting worse and escalating. That doesn't mean that you are not going to treat them if they are a DNR. There's also, sometimes patients will be a full code, but they're a DNI, which means you can still do CPR, you can still do chest compressions, but don't intubate them. They don't want to be intubated. Or if they have respiratory distress and maybe they haven't stopped breathing yet, or their heart hasn't stopped yet, that you're not going to actually intubate them, but do other measures. And again, this is such a gray topic because I've had patients that say, you know, I am a DNR, but I don't want to be shocked. I only want compressions. Or I'm a DNR, but I don't want compressions. I don't want to be shocked. I just want the medications. So there's so many differentiating things and different things that people choose to do and choose not to do. But the biggest thing is that just because you're a DNR does not mean you don't treat the patient. That doesn't mean that if they go into VTAC, but they still have a pulse that you're gonna be like, eh, well, I'm not gonna do anything about it because they still have a pulse. You are going to treat the VTAC with whatever the doctor orders. Now this doesn't really, like, this is different for hospice nursing. Obviously if a patient is hospice and they're a DNR, you are not going to probably be treating anything except for symptoms. So uh, this is just specific to ICU slash acute care in the hospital. But I hope that kind of sums it up for you guys. I know it's kind of a gray area, um, but that's why it's so important to have advanced directives and a living will of what you want. So that way, if you are unable to make those decisions for yourself, that we can grant your wishes and follow and be respectful to what you wanted um, when you were able to make those decisions. I can't tell you how many times people come in that um, maybe said they're a DNR, but there's no paperwork. So, um, we're treating them until a family member says, no, they're a DNR. Or sometimes someone is a DNR and the family member changes them to a full code. It's a very, very touchy, difficult subject. But without getting into that too much, this is kind of a rambly video, and I'm sorry, but that is the difference between full code and DNR. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.